Hi, my name's Chef Hutchings and this is how to mix the tracks of your band lab song to give it that professional touch. So here I've added a MIDI track, selected the techno throwback drum kit, set the tempo to 126 and created a drum beat with the step sequencer. Then I've added another MIDI track, selected the slap bass, bass guitar and added a bass line with the step sequencer. Next I've added an import track and added a guitar mp3, then added another import track and added a vocals mp3. Finally I've added another MIDI track, selected the thick air pad synth and used the step sequencer to add a keyboard line. And now I'm going to rename the imported tracks. Before we start mixing, now is a good time to make sure you're listening to the mix for a pair of stereo headphones. This mix, by default, is in mono. So first I'm going to show you how to turn your mix into a professional stereo mix. If we think of a live band on stage, the drums sit in the middle of the stage, so we will leave the drums pan set at centre. The bass guitarist usually stands to the right of the drummer, and the guitarist to the left, so we will move them into that stereo position. To keep the music sounding even, we place both tracks the same distance from the drums in the mix, but we don't want to move them too far so that they only play through one stereo speaker. So we will pan the bass guitar 25R and the guitar 25L. A mixing trick is to double up on the vocals, so we will duplicate the vocal track and rename it. The singer usually stands in front of the drums, but sings through speakers to the left and right of the drums. So we will move the vocal tracks to 10L and 10R. Now we just have the synth track left, but we want to keep the stereo balanced and even, so we will duplicate the synth track too. Because the synth tracks are the same, we can place them separately on the right and left speakers, so we will pan them to 50R and 50L. Now we have a stereo mix with each track in its own space across the stereo spectrum that will give us a professional stereo mix. Now the mix is in stereo, we can set up each track within the mix. To make the drums more mix friendly, I'll add a classic chamber FX. To make the bass guitar more punchy, I'll add an indie grunge FX. To the guitar, I'll add my own custom setup. To do this, I'm going to click on the plus next to the none FX. Then click on the plus near the top of the screen. In apps and cabs, I'll add a guitar amp. And I'll add a multi cab pro. Changing the cab to 4 times 12 m the mic to 414, and the position to far. Clicking on the arrow at the top left of the screen when I'm finished. Now I'll mute the other tracks and set the volumes for the drums, bass guitar and guitar.
I'll now unmute the synth tracks. I'll add phase tremolo effects to both tracks to add some interest to the tracks. I'll change the synth on the second track to strings pad to add even more interest. Now I'll set the volumes for the synth tracks. I'll now unmute the vocal tracks and add Psych Vox FX to the first track. I'll add 70s Ballad FX to the second track. And I'll click on the settings and I'll go through to the last one which is the space maker and I'm going to change the mix to 46%. Now I'll turn auto pitch onto medium on track 2 to create a subtle level of difference between the two tracks. And now I'll set the volume for the vocal tracks. Finally, I'll tweak the volumes of all tracks to balance the individual sounds so each sound can be heard. We act like zombies, hour of the day. But when the night comes, what can I say? Cause we're all monsters, we're all monsters now. We act like zombies, hour of the day. But when the night comes, what can I say? If you've enjoyed this video, do give us the thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers. <laughs>